Hello everybody, what's going on? And yeah, uh, no wait. Hello everybody, it's been a long time since I vlog, or this is the first vlog because you know I have another channel which is related to chats. But anyways, in this vlog, um, this is hello everyone and welcome to episode of Rating Climb in a ten minute version. Although it's unrated, the other 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 game. Anyways. Let's get into the video. So it starts with E4, D5, Scandinavian defense. Which if I t if I took, he takes. There's a modern variation here with which it leads to a tra trap, but he does take with a pawn, with a queen. I mean, what am I doing? Now there are options here. You can develop pieces. For which one I develop the knight. So that I have lead in development against him. Now he has to, he can go back. He can go over here. He can check me over here, but I'll just block and gain more development. What does he do? Now I don't know what the heck that move is. I never seen it before in the Scandinavian defense lines. Anyways, he goes for that. I go for that, which develops the knight. Although, yep, I developed my knight. And then the next move he does is knight to c6. I go for a3 so that he cannot go over here and here. By the way, even though I did not do this, you know, he can just actually go over here. I can defend also attacking this. So that this is a, no, this is actually a move that is not really that useful, but I don't know. Okay, now we move on to e5, taking the full center here. What I did is d3. So that if he pushes, I take, he takes, I take back. And so that um, he cannot take the space of my territory right here. He goes this way. Also, this is pinned knight. I moved my queen to defend this pawn and to defend this horse. Also, maybe defending this pawn. He goes over there. Might go over here. So I might go over here too again. Or I might, yeah, yeah. Okay, I go over there trying to trade the the bishop for you know the bishop and then if if he takes i take back with a queen he take i take now i have a queen on the game on the game active and ready to strike the opponent's territory anyways on the next move i can take literally i can take because if he takes he can take because it's pinned to the king and that's illegal he blunders the queen. While he said here, he mouse slipped, my friend, or this account. He mouse slipped and thinking that he can castle or what are the options are, um, he castled by accident. He mouse slipped. And I took the queen. Why didn't I take the queen? Yo, what's the problem with me? I'm gonna look at the stream again for uh, proof. Anyways. He goes over there, forking this pawn and the horse. It's not really a fork. I can just go over here now. Or, uh, might take first. If it takes, I don't know. So I took, takes, boom, I mean, take, anyway. Takes, boom, boom, boom. There. A lot of people, uh, don't know how to count. Uh, wait, miss the misses the count in chess. So just if you're wondering or something. Anyways, I move and attack the queen. He goes there. Okay, I go h3 to try to attack the queen. So first of all, I thought of this h3 so that to prevent this. But what I didn't know is that he can go there. And if I take, he takes. What he ended... So what I ended up doing is I did not take... I um, tried to attack the knights. And he, he moved his bishop for development or something, I guess. I go rook to g1 to, you know, push this pawn, maybe. Wait, that doesn't work actually. What am I doing even? I move this rook so that I can now attack the knight. And he cannot take my rook because it isn't in their queen file. Anyways, he removes his knight and I develop my bishop. He goes for a6, trying to prevent this. And then I go there. And then he dev he goes over here, try to defend this pawn. He can go also over here. It's defended by the rook. And then 
I go for this move so that if he take, I take back. Now I have a more extended position than his. He doesn't take. Also, another option is to take with the knight, try to attack the rook. But anyways, let's move on to the next move, which is that move. Knight to d7, which is I don't know. I don't know why I would do that. Anyways, I took. He can take with a rook. No, he cannot. He cannot take because I'm gonna take with a bishop. So rooks are more powerful than bishops. So I'm not. He's gonna not take with a rook. Although he can take with a pawn, but that would leave him leave his rook hanging. So what he did, he did not take any of his pieces to my pawn. Instead, he moves his queen to trade. And what I end up doing next is that I uh, traded. And now he has a more powerful knight than me. He is threatening this now. Maybe also threatening this, but that is not possible because it is over guarded or something. Anyways, I go over here. He goes over there, taking the pawn that I, I left hanging. Hello back and welcome back to the recording. Anyways, I drank my vitamins, by the way. Anyways, let's continue. I blunder my pawn. I push my pawn. And then he goes for this thing, which is pinning my... Bishop to the rook, which is literally not pinned, but because it's guarded by two pieces right now. This is attack twice, so that if he takes, I take. He he cannot take take actually, so it's guarded too. And now I find the killer move: bishop to h7, at forking the rook and the king. He can take the bishop. Wait, why doesn't he take the bishop? Okay, he doesn't take the bishop. Anyways, I go over here, take the rook. He takes the bishop. I fork the king to the bishop and then I took the bishop to have a massive trade so that I have an advantage for simplicity and yeah anyways I go over here trying to attack this although it's defended by the knight I don't know why would I do that and he defends it again I don't know why would he do that too uh, we're both dumb boys anyways I take and I blunder and he takes now there is a possibility here that he clutches but yet yo okay I so I blundered my pawn because of a fork and he resigned wait did he resign resigned by the way in this he did not resign I was wrong it looked at the time for proof it's actually I won by timeout so yep but Something clicked. I want a rematch. In this game, I won. I think this game was last week. I mean, I mean, last two days ago. Where I have examen classes. Anyways, this game starts at e4. Which, me to me, is kind of aggressive. Because a lot of openings at e4 start with aggressive openings. Opening or something. I play the Vienna game. And now, he goes for this... He goes and develops his bishop, and then I develop my bishop too. He might go here or here. Let's see what he will do. Okay, he goes there. The right thing that I should do is go here, but the, I might see the threat of this. I think I have gone here. No, I have gone here so that he cannot go here too. This is also an option. Okay, he goes and castles over there. And then there's nothing special about that. Anyways, moving on, I completed the Pyramid of Pawns on the king side. It's like London si system, but on the king side. Well, not really a London system, but, you know, Pyramid, uh, Knight, Bishop, whatever. Anyways, he goes Pawn to D6, which is a developing move, so that he can open up his Bishop here, here, or develop over here. Anyways, moving on, I go here to you know develop my queen if this bishop was here he takes i i would take back with a queen and i have this very very powerful diagonals i mean very powerful diagonal anyways oh and this is a blunder and now i will show you the next game wait not now but after this i blundered my queen you know what does my uh, 900 opponent do Kicks in with a 900 elo person. He goes and moves the knight and does not take the queen. I mean, what? What? Why? And I still end up losing at this game. I say, how? I blocked 
finally blocked my queen with a bishop to attack this, also to double his pawn structure if I traded with him. But now, here comes, oh wait, actually, uh, developing move bishop to e6, I didn't, anyways, let's move on to the next move, which is taking the bishop, so that I'm attacking the knight, so maybe he should take, he should go here, maybe attacking my bishop, he goes here, takes the file, plus, but having double pawn structure, although that can be castled early, so that the file can be, you know, guarded. Anyways, next, moving on to the, oh wait, shoot, I got to the end, bro. what am I doing? And, I did this, so that if he takes, I take. Anyways, moving on, he takes, I will take with a pawn, maybe, maybe. Okay, I take with this pawn, and so that to open up my rook. And now, in the next move, he goes over here. Which is an aggressive move for a 955 player. So I got confused and asked myself what to do. Uh, yeah. So what did I do? I developed my knight to make my horse still active when he trades. Yeah. And look at this. He's developed all of his pieces while I did not. That's the problem here. So if he takes this, I take back, he takes this. So that takes this, unguards this pawn, the c2 pawn, and then I take, and then he takes. Is there any other option that I can do instead of knight to h3? Anyways, why did I even move knight to h3? I can go over here, try to defend, and yeah, try to defend. Instead, I blunder the pawn, and then I blunder the rook. And then I took the knight, and then I resigned. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please like, leave a like or something. And we'll see you guys in the next video. And bye-bye.